Let's move on. <laughs> no, wait. I mean, it no, can, but I wasn't gonna you can shit start on it whenever, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? You can start yeah, it whenever. We can. I can cut whenever. Thank you. All right, we're starting. We'll it's cut after cares. That. It's already. No, started. I don't want. I mean, yeah. No names. Yeah, no fine. names. So right. anyway, but though there's this new late night show. No, stop it. <laughs> All right. No, there, there's. There Look, I just have a critique of the show, and that's just what I said. I'm just like, it, you can't be funnier than the internet is. It's so unruly and insane that it's just, it's going to be, yeah, inherently funnier. Yeah, there's nothing. There's mm-hmm. nothing that can match. Okay, when you like, there's all. Uh, there's a lot of comics that I know. We all know. No person. No nothing. Nobody personal or anything. But like forever, I've known them. They still believe in the old way. Yeah. Like they're gonna. They're gonna. There's gonna be a guy in the back of the room, and yeah. he's gonna go. You got it, kid. Yeah. And that guy was always fucking teenagers. Yeah. By yes. The way. Yeah. Exactly. And so, so, I mean, that was arguments I got into back in the day with like comic friends of ours, where I was like, "What do you want for your career?" And they're like, "To be a headliner." And I'm like, "Do you think they're gonna come to like Echoes Under Sunset and be like, kid, you got what it takes?" Right. Exactly. You're doing the funny bone this weekend, and after that, you're doing the comedy connection, and then. I was just like, are you delusional? No, there's like, no yeah. talent scouts for like NBC sitting in the back of the room, like watching like seven different like trans schizophrenic people go up <laughs> at an open mic, and then you pop out of nowhere and you kill it, and then they offer you like the late night gig. Yeah, it doesn't happen. Already Patreon off rip. That's pretty crazy, huh? What's wrong with that? Well, no, I just thought names being said. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna cut the names. Oh, out. okay, great. Speaking cool. of yeah, which, yeah, there's no. They, they, even though it's recording, it's, I still have, there's a. Pound. Do you care that that's on? Oh yeah, which one is that? Uh, oh, there's all, all four are on. No, I'm saying there's I feel like five. It's oh, something there's a up fifth too. one. Yeah, I got a Mother. second. So let's start it after we do this. Figure this out. Which one of these? Also, there's like a giant. The helicopter. helicopter. Yeah, I think it's fine if it's on. Actually, no, it's actually fine if it's yeah. fine. Yeah, we're good. Totally, we're killing it. This Welcome is, to Hey Watch Podcast, <laughs> everybody. My, I'm Devin Costa. <laughs> Here with Ryan Donahue from Hello. New York City. Ryan, hey, how's the weather out there? I don't know. I'm not there. <laughs> Do you like New York more? That's than- been the Hey Watch Podcast, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. You can follow Ryan at Ryan Donahue on Instagram. Absolutely. No, but truly, there's so many comedians that that that. Uh, they believe in this weird antiquated realm. By the way, what is it's going like we're on? We're in apocalypse Are they, like, now. I think like, Richard Ramirez right now. There's a that's helicopter actually, apparently right next to us. That's the CBS helicopter, and they're just gonna fucking shoot us. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sniper on board. Isn't it annoying that like none of the LAPD choppers ever go down, but Kobe did? This is crazy. Life yeah. is so retarded. Yeah. Yeah. The only talented guy ever to be in a helicopter dies, and meanwhile, there's all these people that like they, you know, they Dude, la- they a- land the helicopter, they shoot like a black teen, and they're just they live for like eighty years. Yeah. Yo, we were just talking. What was that dude's name? The Hawaiian guy from uh from the store, <laughs> Willie Willie Simon. <laughs> Willie Simons. Yeah, Willie Simon. Oh yeah, yeah. I like him. He's yeah, very funny. no, he's Great so comic. funny. Yeah. But he was just talking about how like every time Oprah or Jeff Bezos goes to Hawaii, like. Families just have to stay inside and like not go outside because they need to clear the airways and the yeah. roads for them to drive to their yeah. It sounds like states. Oprah like changed the infrastructure of the highways so that her house is like helicopter except ac- you also accessible. you also have to be afraid to go outside because you'll be hit with a dart and you'll wake up <laughs> tied up in a big chamber and they will have their way with you and there will be a lot of weird rituals done on you like True Detective yeah. We were saying that then. I'm like, I think Oprah gets away with the fact that she's uh, not a billionaire. Yeah, Oprah's like, the Yellow King. She's doing evil shit for sure. This Carcosa shit. Yeah, that's why Jeff Bezos wants to go to the moon to escape the allegations someday. <laughs> they're gonna live on the on Mars because you can't go to prison on Mars. Yeah, and Mars like Martians are gonna be like, holy shit, that's Jeff Bezos. Hide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hide. Yeah, that's that's the, we gotta conquer somebody else. Yeah, you know we have. It's been a long time, and we haven't subjugated anybody. We haven't done anything to another like <laughs> race of people in a while, and we the new one is gonna be like aliens. That's yeah. why we're so excited. That's why we keep releasing info like they're coming. There's a footage. There's footage of them because we we need to yeah. put people in chains again. That's how this uh, like sure. humanity works. You new Native Americans. Yes, for sure. That's why I said. Right. Yeah, you're right. No, that's Absolutely. exactly yeah. what you were getting at. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You read my fucking mind. No. Um, 
The thing I've worried about aliens, though, it's like if they come down, if they're capable of getting here. They're raping us. Like, we're fucked. Yeah. We don't know that. Everyone always has that idea because they're like spaceships are all cool and shit. No, they go like, like the sound of, like, you can't even see them like escape. It just went so quickly. But what if they just suck and they have like empathy and they're like really like, they're just kind of gay and weak? Yeah. We'll just start shooting them. It'll be like crazy. We would, we'll, we'll, it, we, we will, we will always uh, inflict violence on You're just describing unknown. District 9. Is yeah. that District 9? I've never seen District 9. Really? Really? It's very good. No, it's quite good. Yeah. Again? One yeah. of the leading like theories about the aliens and shit. That's there is a lot of people who think that actually because like so the the the, the idea is they're really interested in our military technology and like all of our technology is based off of combustion, right? So like burning trees and shit. So there's a theory out there that says what if they didn't have that where they're from? So they kind of jumped into like a gravity route and they put all their technology tokens into something that they have no concept of combustion or like killing people i love you connor right now i'm yeah i'm no. just yeah, yeah. Do you know what i'm saying though like yeah, they may yeah. not know how machine guns work or yeah. they may not even exist on their planet they're coming over here because they got six spaceships and they're like oh fuck they have missiles what the fuck are all these our things? ideas about them are all like from movies where they have yeah. like, special guns that like blow you up at a you know really quick or i understand like, that. we don't know if that's a thing all we we've seen of them is that they have like like fast uh flying cars that may be basically. all they have yeah, I just find it hard to believe that there's a society out there that can is capable of building that technology while also not simultaneously building just death ray after death ray. But never underestimate the bloodthirst of a human. Yeah. We I, don't even but we don't even know. It's like well, I think we are more bloodthirsty and I think they might have empathy and might be they might come down here and be like we just want to like finger paint and like I like, might like go to concerts <laughs> with you guys, and we're just like, start like, blowing their I, heads off. I honestly think this is a more naive take than thinking that it would be hostile. I'm of the of the mind that they merely watch us like daytime television, and they're like these people like are too, yeah, fucking yeah. stupid. Well, yeah. if they want to kill us all, they I would like have that. done it by now. If that was the truth, is that they were like way more technological. Yeah, because apparently they've been around since the fucking forties. They've been around since like fucking. Apparently, they've been around since like fucking no nineteen forties. There's like medieval they, accounts of space battles. And shit. Didn't like crazy. Truman. Didn't like fucking like Roosevelt and all the world leaders like before World War Two like be like, hey, listen, there's aliens. The, the first like, one, keep David it under Brush talked about was nineteen thirty three. Nineteen thirty. Apparently great. Mussolini had a UFO. Mm. I'm, I'm fucking serious, dude. It's crazy. Mussolini had a UFO. Dude, so, like, Wait, a... what do you mean he had one? Like... Okay, yeah, it was a... so made Nor... by it was made by Enzo Ferrari, Lamborghini. They no Ferrari. They had a dumbass. <laughs> no, they had a they had a fucking That's not a UFO at all. Yeah. That's a fast car. Apparently, there was a UFO that crashed in northern Italy. The Italian intelligence they have all these documents, and then David Grush went on. Then this these documents have been circulating for like thirty David years. David Koresh? Yeah, David what are you Grush. saying? David Grush, the okay. guy, the Grush. big okay. UFO guy. Like, fuck, you got David around, Grush. dude. No, they uh, apparently, like, and, and they have all these documents, but they were never, uh, s nobody ever, uh, you know, affirmed them or whatever. And then David Grush came out and said, well, basically in 1933, a UFO crashed in northern Italy. Italian intelligence got a hold of it. They said Italian, Italian intelligence, intelligence. I know. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like coming up with new forms of pasta. They're measuring meatballs. <laughs> so it's the biggest one yet. <laughs> this bag. thing is huge. They all thought they were not. The Italians thought it was the Nazis. What they got. They got like an experimental Nazi aircraft. And then uh, apparently the Pope got involved at some point. Of course he did. And then the Nazis were like, this isn't ours. And they just the Pope put it goes, in a There's warehouse. kids in that thing. <laughs> Well, they said they put it in a warehouse, and then the OSS recovered it uh, when we conquered Italy in World War II. And that's, like, the, the first one David Grush is, like, willing to talk about. And the only one he was allowed to talk about. So was Hitler kind of using them as a smokescreen? He's like, well, there's aliens. <laughs> Who cares what Dude, I'm doing? I can, get in, I can get so fucking esoteric about, like, the weird... <laughs> Dude, like, honestly, dude, like, the Nazis were so much crazier than we fucking understand. And, like, there Do was a point. you think they were aliens? No, dude, there was a point late in, like, 1944, like, late in the war, where Herm, like, they were putting so much money. Herm, I think it was Goebbels thought that stars in the sky were tears into the fabric of the universe. Okay. And they built a radar array in Norway to fire laser beams into the sky to see if they'll bounce back onto earth and they were like investing a shit ton of money in this while like omaha beach was being stormed and apparently like infuriated hitler he was like why are you guys like trying to bounce laser? we have a mission here it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah the nazis were fucking that is nuts. that's hilarious he's it's like, like stop trying to find space jews there's human jews <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty of jews to go around what well, are you guys doing we have, let's, let's let's put our eggs in one basket here we <laughs> yeah. have a lot to focus on down here J they then just, we'll take over the Jews on the moon. 
They had chambers. Moon juice. Moon juice. Moon juice. They have tunnels. Allied soldiers would find chambers. <laughs> Those aren't craters at all. <laughs> Those aren't craters. That's a Hasidic tunnel. Allied... They're pulling out shit-stained mattresses from the moon. <laughs> Allied soldiers would come into these, like, <laughs> castles, right? Where they yeah. would have cha- big chambers with, like, a single marble, like, stone in the middle. And, like, the Allied soldiers would be like, what the fuck are you guys doing in here? And, like, top-ranking SS officers would be like, yeah, we'd all sit in a circle and put our heads together and try to see the future. Like, they're just the craziest. It was very fucking It's weird. hilarious that, that, that apparently, if what you're saying is true, that Nazis, yeah. like, thought about, like, a, a, a futuristic, you know, uh, a space creatures, and at the yes. same time, they were still using horses near they the were end trying of World to, War II. Yeah, they were trying to, like, open up the hell. They were trying to, like, Hellboy is, like, kind of true. They were, like, weirdos. Like, Hellboy's about Hellboy. a German. Bro, Hellboy's kind of dude, true. Dude, it's kind of true. No, seriously. John Knopf, Hellboy's kind, kind of, of true. true. <laughs> no, they, they literally were, like... Ron Perlman's playing Himmler. Imagine a major, <laughs> imagine a major power in on Earth that their sole goal was to try to, at foundationally, was trying to remove Wipe out Jews. No, no, trying to remove Abrahamic religion. Jews are the first step. Eventually, they're going to go to Christians. They're trying to remove Abrahamic religion from the surface, from from Earth, and and through that, they're trying and the Volkish movement, all these things. They're trying to like summon demons and like see the future and mm-hmm. ba- and and like they thought like space was fake. They were like crazy people. Mm. Fucking the Reichs, the guy, that guy like landed in Scotland was wearing like a wizard robe when he surrendered. He was like the Reichs Marshal of Germany. He was just insane. Hmm. I'm going so fucking autistic. No, I love it. I can do this all day. I'm actually just like enthralled. It's by actually you. very oh, interesting. Yeah. Dude, I could do this all fucking day. They, they, um, uh, rat, rat, uh, God, uh, they had, they were, they, then the other thing is, is, Part of the, at the t- upper echelon of Nazi society, they kind of believed in like. So the Holocaust is a slight like blood ritual. It was a mild blood yes, ritual. Yes, it was a mild blood ritual. It's a tiny little blood ritual. It was like a huge. Listen, I don't like Nazis. I'm just fascinated by this shit. I think you do actually. I, you do, and you have Nazi roots. Yeah, Literally, yeah, your family yeah, really. was Nazis. So they're evil. They're like intrinsically evil people. But I read an entire book. Thank you for saying that. They're evil people. I read an entire book on Nazi occultism, and it was written by a guy who hated Nazis. It was very funny. But the uh, uh, what was his name? John Knopf. <laughs> yes, was, but he. Uh, so to be an SS, it's written by an, Jeff Tiedrich. <laughs> <laughs> to be in the SS, you had to like uh, touch. So during the, the the brown shirt riots in Berlin, when the, they burnt down the Reichstag and shit, a bunch of brown shirt Nazis were killed, like holding a swastika flag, and their blood got on the flag. And in order to be in the SS, you had to swear an oath upon that bloody flag. So it was a blood ritual to begin with. And, like, there are a lot of people who were thinking, like, yeah, they were killing a lot of these people in these slave camps as a kind of esoteric alternative to J- Abrahamic belief, like, blood ritual. And, like, like, the Volkish movement up until, like, the 1920s, which is at one point Hitler was, like, we're removing Christianity, all that shit. We're going back to, like, worshiping trees. And, like, all what is the Volkish movement? Like, the Volkish so movement. Sorry, like, like Brian movement- Redman and Tony Hinchcliffe's club in Austin. <laughs> Volk is like people, right? Volkswagen. So it's like, and folks, like it comes from folks. So it's like, we're no longer believing the the religion, the Jew and the Christian and Jesus and all this shit. We're like going back to like, we're thinking fairies are real and shit. And like, uh, Irish. Yeah. Shit like that. (laughs) No, I'm dead serious. Yeah. These people were insane. It was, and they not only were insane, they had, they were a major world power. And nobody really understands. You're talking about Nazi Germany? Nazis. Nazi Germany. It was a major I world I never power. thought of them as insane. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just expose yourself with every sentence. No, 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 no. They are insane. No, I'm both I, I think it was Dave Chappelle who said, crazy is dismissive. <laughs> John doing damage control for the Third Reich. I, I'll do, no, it's 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 fucking wild that and nobody really yeah. uh, beyond all the Saving Private Ryan fucking bullshit you see on TV, which is like baseline <laughs> bullshit. No, no, if you get to the nitty gritty, yeah, they were the heroes. Bullshit. <laughs> if you, no, 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 it's not bullshit. But if you get to like the nitty gritty of the war and like the beliefs of the people of the upper echelon of the people we were fighting in World War II, it's very fucking weird. Yeah, it makes sense that there would be a like a bigger goal than the one we saw. It was a bizarre goal. Uh, uh, Hitler said uh, Jews were just easy targets. The next step were Christians, and like eventually, I mean, they were taking Wait, why, Africa. What? Like if just easy, just because they because were, they were a, a homogenistic like group within Europe that kept to themselves.
themselves that were just easily targeted and killed. Right. right? So that's the first step. And then the next step, and the, a lot of the major pow, major uh, political party before Nazism was Christian Democrats within Germany. So, like, a lot of Germans are Christian, right? You're in Europe. It's a fucking one, big Christian population. And they were eventually would have been any Muslims, Christians, and Jews. They would have eliminated them. I think, like, Hitler said he wanted to replace every um, cross with a swastika at some point. Like, they were trying to completely flip humanity on its ass. And mm. it was, it's very bizarre and weird. This, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like ancient aliens mindset right now, but it kind of makes sense that they adopted the peace sign. Yeah. To be like projecting that to space. Yeah. As the ultimate trap. Yeah. Being like, we come in peace. This is the international sign of peace. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, and, it's then, you like, kill, and then you kill some moon Jews. Oh, dude. They were like fucking. I mean, we all know the money's up there. The, that's the money's the, on the moon. That's Why the, do you think it's yellow? It's where that gold. bank is. Yeah. It's all the gold. Mm-hmm. Exactly. World War II was more Hellboy, more like Indiana Jones. Like they were like doing weird. I'd love to shit. see you explain this to a person who lost their entire family in the. Holocaust. I would do it. In heart. <laughs> it's more like a Hellboy situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't take it personally. They were after aliens. There's, a, there's a guy who winds up his heart and his blood's made of sand. And he like killed your grandparents. <laughs> but, but, he, but alien. But he only. Killed your parents because they were like an easy target. You understand this, right? <laughs> they all hung out in groups and they didn't really fight back. Yeah, it's, it's true. They had kind hearts and they would just do what they were told. Yeah, they were, now they're, they're all dead. Weirdos. I think I'd go off. So what do you think, think about? about- <laughs> sorry, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, no, I was going to keep going. What do you think about these Miami aliens, John? Have you seen any of this footage? Baby alien? Well, no, Miami. <laughs> <laughs> People think they spotted aliens in Miami because there was like hundreds of cop cars called to some sort of oh, this is bullshit. viewing of something. This but is uh, I really I just think they, they I think the Bang Bros figured out a, a yeah, flying yeah. Bang Bus. This I, is I, 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 I do think Baby Alien. I'm like that might be some Baby Alien's an alien. That's something. Why is he pleasing all these women so well? He's and he's, he's retarded looking. They all love him. Every video I see, they well, love. They're him. actors. They're paid whores. Yeah. No, but they really like him. I've seen paid whores be like over it. I don't know. You ever man. seen a Bang Bus episode when the guy when the guy gets in and they go, he sucks, his dick stinks, like kick him the fuck out. Yeah, Maybe but they, aliens but killing they, it. On the off chance that someone like me doesn't know what the fuck you're talking about, what is the Baby Alien is this like tiny little Indian man? Is he Indian? I think I so. It might be one of those. I yeah, think yeah. This is unfortunately, one of those. you think you might have right, cool. think you might have thought that because he just kind of looks. <laughs> just ima- imagine Hitler watching a Baby Alien. Video. Bro, that's not crazy. He's like a little brown guy. He's a little brown guy. I think he's yeah. like Pakistani. Pakistani, maybe. Yeah, something. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. But it's, it's like the, he's it's same the thing, big sick. Honestly. It's the big sick. <laughs> it's the big dick. <laughs> and uh, no, he's like a little Pakistani, or an, he's a little brown guy who is like. Vern Troyer esque, yes, and he's he dwarf. was. He's not weirdly. He's he looks got a normal. He's got a, but, but he looks he's normal. Not a dwarf. But he's he's not really he's, a dwarf. He's just a tiny guy. I know. I thought dwarfs were the opposite of midgets. Like midgets have big heads and pony keg chests. But no, dwarf, that's a dwarf. Look. Dwarf has big head and like Wee Man uh, is a dwarf. A, Vern Troyer is a midget. What's the one who looks normal but they're just small? This is baby alien, right? Ba- uh, children. And he, they, <laughs> they take him on this sex bus and he like fucks porn stars and apparently he's been killing it. I, I, yeah. Apparently. He looks, he, yeah, I mean. Show him that picture, dude. What? The one where he's fucking a chick. That one? Yeah, this is where it. he's going he's to town, hit. you know. So, yeah, he's he's an odd-looking man. He's, yeah, but uh, he's also, he's also like four feet tall. He kind of looks like a human camel. Like, he like has like a reserve of cum in his I mean, forehead. <laughs> he could be like Dominican. For context of how tall he is, he's standing up in a van. Like, yeah, he's yeah. fully standing He's fully up. standing in a van, yeah. He's yeah. getting ahead. I love Baby Ellen. We've done a whole episode on Baby Ellen. Yeah, he's awesome. He's my hero. I I think he kicks ass. Yeah. But uh, were you saying something about him? No, I just think I'm saying that. I think that is like. He's an alien. Yeah. Yeah. It might be. He was recovered at Roswell. What if aliens are just humans with Down syndrome that learned how to fly because they had a special (laughs) skill? Because all people with like Down syndrome have like one special skill, right? Like I used to know a guy that he could like rewind. That's autism. That's not autism. Down syndrome (laughs) (laughs) syndrome people have like 70 IQs. Well, I knew an autistic kid once that could like reverse a a VHS and he could pause it on any scene. Yeah, that's autism. That's a savant. That That, takes ass. How they're good at, like, you know, piano or whatever. It's, like, a weird thing that they're specifically good at. Yeah. I can, like, draw the Brooklyn skyline. Like, the card counting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Rayman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so look at these aliens that they think they were were spotted in Miami. It's also such a... It also makes sense, though. Like, if aliens were to land, I would imagine Miami's where they first come. Because it just feels like no one's really paying attention. Mm -hmm. The whole place is 
made of cocaine. Yeah. 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 Everyone's too busy partying or banging. It like, they could be, easily just do whatever they wanted. No one would just even know. Just a lot of tasteless affluence, like yeah. people yeah. wearing designer that doesn't match. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it's completely insane. They this just is think, controlled opposition. People in Miami would see an alien and go, oh, he's a fashion victim. He just He's wearing, like, last year's outfit. <laughs> they go, like, he's that tacky. Just, that sucks. Yeah. Like, he just sucks. No, they would land in either Miami, Hollywood and Highland, or Times Square. Hollywood and Highland, interesting. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah. that's the equivalent of Miami. I mean, it's smaller, but you know, like right. that's right. the same gaudy, yeah. over the top shit. Sure, sure. All right, let's see what, if we see anything in this footage. Don't love the music. That's fake. Well, they're okay. Do you guys remember that ten foot creature that they think they saw in? Well, I don't uh, know what I'm looking Vegas. at. Vegas. Oh, I, I, I skipped figure. ahead. That's fake. But there's like a figure here. There's people running. I mean, it's, like, it's no, like a shooter. This is insane. So what cities Bullshit. have the most retarded people on You think none of those, Miami, none of those cops Vegas. would fucking yeah. talk? Blabber mouth? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Miami yeah. and Las Vegas has the most retards on earth. Miami police Miami debunk rumor yeah. of alien. About an alien. Uh, <laughs> potentially. Miami police clearing up some conspiracy theories. Turns out it was Gianna Michaels. <laughs> Dude, I wish. <laughs> New Year's They've Day, never seen an ass or tits that big. Mall in Miami. Perhaps like you saw this, fucking, a video yeah. posted online claiming it was due to an alien sighting in that area. So what really happened? Look at that police presence. That's yeah, for a fight. Lot. That Come is a on. crazy amount of uh, uh, police. Huge. A group of fifty teenagers. I like how even the news ladies are like, "You're telling me that's for a fight, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> like they're all just like conspiracy theorists, psychos too. <laughs> After setting off fireworks, also looting. just the idea in, like that the, the al- cops would be called on an alien that would instantly just be like some government section we don't even know about, right? Coming in, and, they'd yeah. come in and handle it yes. later, but the cops would initially they'd be the first responders. But like happened. if it was fifty, not rioting, that, that not that presence, so that's too many cops. Like that's well, right. think about it though. If there's fifty kids that are rioting. How many? There's two cops per one of those vehicles. It looks kind of normal. There'd be that many vehicles yeah. there. I'm saying that's for an why. alien sighting. That's oh, for why, an alien yeah. sighting, it'd be like that's one. Literally, I'm saying. Yeah. What if the aliens land and they just loot a CVS? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Their whole goal is to like steal like Preparation H. Yeah, or and something Chris Kyle the saves glass. the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have Chris Kyle's clone. <laughs> in in air quotes in the video was really just a tall person walking. It was not. Who said that? It was Bam at a bio. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> That come from? According to police reports. Police did not say the alien was just a tall person. Uh, well, I said the tall part. They, you know, this news lady was, like, killed by the FBI after this. Yeah. They're like, what do you, why do you keep pretending there's an alien, you Jesus bitch? Jesus Christ. How dare you? We're trying to cover this up here. No, it, For Christ's sake, it's a moon Jew. <laughs> 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 a moon Jew. It's just a person, just a person uh, walking. A nine-foot person? Wow. I love this. Dude, whoever wow. this lady Man, is kicks ass, dude. Yeah. Wait, Fox 2? Fox 2 Miami, uh, the local news. This lady will not stop. Can you think of an easier job than Fox 2? Like, you <laughs> definitely don't have to read a goddamn mm. word of English. The my God. I would. I want to, like, I want to go to Miami. I've, I've never been to Miami. It, it sucks ass. I fucking hate we'll Miami. We'll go to Miami. <laughs> really? I really hate Miami. Really? I, I've done a show there, and it was not fun. Yeah. Everyone's just so focused on being cool. And hot. And, and they're not. Yeah, it's also weird. it's also like it's the most expensive place I've ever been in my entire life. It's really expensive. Yeah, and it's and it offers and all it's the shit. things. It's it's shit. It's it also offers all gourmet the things. hot dogs. Ugh. Oh, really? It offers all the things that you can do in Mexico, but it's like four times more expensive. Yeah, but like you go to Miami, be like, we'll get a boat, we'll drink on the beach, and it's just super and it's just expensive. fucking insane. We got like a pitcher of mojitos and like some hummus one time, and it was like literally like. 
a hundred and twenty dollars. Jesus fuck. Jesus. And I was like, oh, I can't afford to have fun here. This sucks. Yeah. yeah okay. It's so it's, it's 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 like Beach Vegas. Yeah. Kinda. It is Beach Vegas. That's pretty good. It stinks. Interesting. I don't know. It always looks charming. Just go like to Mexico. And stuff to me. Yeah. yeah. I always I always imagine when I'm in my if I was in beat if I were to wind up in Miami, any black guy I see, I'd go, listen, man, I know you're gay. You can. Just- <laughs> You can just let it out. <laughs> I saw the movie. Yeah. So I, know we, I know you're getting hand jobs. But, that was but our running bit. We I saw know a Dominican's giving you a hand job on the beach. Yeah. yeah. That was our bit when we saw Moonlight together. We were like leaving the theater and we'd see just a dude like dealing drugs in the corner. And we go, that poor closeted homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just be free, my man. Why do you think DJ Khaled takes so many boat rides? <laughs> He always, he's always getting lost. Yeah, he's lost. No, he's lost in some man's ass. <laughs> Everyone's another one. And another one. <laughs> do, 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 do. Remind yeah. me of other stories. That's a lot guys... of cops for just some fight. I got to tell you. Yeah. This is something fishy. It's funny that the news doesn't even have the story. No, they don't they even are, know. They are doing what we're doing right now. No, they they, they literally keep going it's like, crazy. let's just send it off to Christina and her big fake tits. She's <laughs> all radicalized and a Trump fan, so I don't know. She thinks aliens She'll are real. She'll do something. She'll say something wild tonight. <laughs> and they cut to her and she's like, it's an alien. <laughs> it's confirmed. Vegas where yeah. the aliens were in the backyard and then they what got... happened to that cell phone video? That Gone. Right. No video that of That is it. weird. What is that Gone. white object? And these... The claim from the Vegas story was that these ten foot uh, creatures yeah, and eight, into... nine or ten foot like <laughs> human like creatures, yeah, eight, NBA nine, basketball ten, players. And they got into some <laughs> <SUV>. <laughs> you ever seen like an they NBA player in real life? Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. That is like a jarring experience. It's You're crazy. Like, that is that's not a human. Dude, that's my heart goes nuts. out to anybody who is that tall that didn't have game. It's oh. like got to be such an oh. isolating experience yeah. to be like, dude, you fucking have all the things but not the ability to jump it's always really sad when you see a super tall a tall guy because you know all the small talk is exactly the That's fucking same. his whole life people go are you what's the it? weather up there and they're like, like i'll kill you also people go are, did you play basketball and you're just like no i'm like i like I have no physical ability yeah, like, yeah. but everyone goes nah sad so you're just like a freak yeah <laughs> like, I, there's no reason you don't even you've never got a rebound I mean, it must be a brutal life to be a tall guy that never did anything. Athletic. Yeah, well, because also most guys who are that tall, they are most likely uncoordinated, too. Yeah, because it's, like it's a an weird... insane center of gravity exactly. situation. So it's, it's actually, these guys, all NBA players are like anomalies, where it's like, you're that tall and can, like, stand mm-hmm. and run. Mm-hmm. Most people are like, they're baby giraffes and that tall. They're just like, yeah. I don't even know how to operate my own body. It's like, yeah. health. And them. things are not yeah. made for them, you know, like getting on the bus or whatever. It's like, no, Jesus yeah. Christ. You have to, like, ask for the bus to be customized. Like, to be Poor and tall like that. Oh, you're taking public transit brutal. and you're just fucking huge. You live in like a really small apartment. Oh, oh it's horrible. Story. God. That being said, I keep uh, having this thought, and it might be a joke that's not allowed to be said, but uh, they're they're, they're, on the, they're, on, they're doing the news. And they're they're looking at this footage, and one of the people uh, just goes, uh, "Turns out it's not an alien. Uh, it's Dwayne Wade's trans son." <laughs> 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 Is that okay? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying they're good. saying That's it. That's great. They're yeah. saying it. They're Trans- like, oh, you didn't say it. They said they it. They said it. I wrote it for them. What the hell? But they said what it. What the hell? I hope my SNL yes. audition goes all right next week. <laughs> Let's see. They're they're about to get in like a big like like this guy hate he goes you two Jesus he Christ. hates them yeah, this guy really, hates wow that them. face is wild yeah, look at that wild. face <laughs> okay let the hens quack <laughs> <laughs> yeah gotta take the top off Jesus yeah. he's holding it mm-hmm. or maybe it was like an extended G wagon or something mm-hmm. okay so what do you guys think happened here uh, a couple things with this alien situation it is interesting <laughs> that they are all tall. So we need to start considering that now in terms of our knowledge of aliens and when they come. So, Mm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. you're only five six in your earthly body because we know there's some. I love. What the fuck is this, dude? Fox Two Miami has so much tension. It's it's amazing. Is it? Is also she wearing a star of David? No, no, no. I just can't believe. No, she just is a star. 
this is crazy. The fact that this is like actual daytime news. Dude, like, what the fuck? This is every like middle aged woman's like day. That's what's beautiful about. I'd it. watch the news. Local news, this. dude. Yeah. If you go to local news in any major city, that like, there's some weird like passive aggressive tension going on all the time. Mm -hmm. This lady hates the white bitch next to her. Right. The white man hates both of them because he goes, "Women are like subhuman, and right. I should have the whole show." Mm -hmm. You saw his face. Yeah. yeah. No, it was he exploding. Can't stand listening his head to was them. literally. Exploding. He hates them. He cannot. He's stand like them. an incel, like on the news. Uh huh. And this woman thinks like she can't wait to like steal fucking like Malika Andrews's job and like become like the new black chick on ESPN or something. <laughs> you know, there's like something going on here. Question about Lady mm -hmm. Santafonte, but it is interesting now that the news that does come out about aliens. Look at that! Just in case literally sips tea. <laughs> literally, this bitch literally does the sips tea thing. Mm -hmm. Now that right. the news that does come out about <laughs> aliens, just in case we thought they were little tiny green men, hmm. these are some tall bad boys. So we might want she's, to think she's about. She's like actively what our horny for them. Be. It's very yeah. strange. Crazy. She's it's Miami. They're all so horny. Yeah. Like they can't wait to find a new hole to fuck. <laughs> I just need a tall, bad boy. <laughs> I need a tall, bad boy. <laughs> you're like, uh, you're telling thank me, God you're my telling tall, me, bad boy came down to you're the You're telling me seven five being arrested by the cops? <laughs> I think I found my new husband. Eh? <laughs> and look at him just look at them. Yeah, well. He's I'm, like, I'm six feet and I'd fill you up, my sweet princess. <laughs> <laughs> If something was to happen, sir, I yield to you. Now, am I supposed to give my opinion based I on Ryan or Monty the person, here we go. Here or we through go. a filtered lens? <laughs> well, we're gonna take your, your we're gonna Christ. take your journalism hat God, you hat suck ass. ass. Oh, God. Oh, you oh. suck oh. ass too. They're podcasting. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, 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 it's a podcast. This is absolutely insane. This is like flagrant too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it literally is. <laughs> Now give us the Ryan Armani uh, version of what you think went down in Miami. Ladies and gentlemen, we are being tested. Uh -huh. <laughs> As a people. Mm -hmm. That is what I think. Wow, yeah. what a take. We are being tested. Who's testing us? The government. Yeah, this For is what? controlled. He's Testing right. us to see how we would react as a people to such oh, no, an encounter. Wrong. Are you allowed to even say this? That's like, what I'm, I'm, I'm fucking blown away. By I can't this. believe I'm what I'm watching right now. This feels like ass. a sketch. I'm kind of like, wait, let's let's let him cook. Yeah. We, are, we are being tested. Did you guys know Woody Harrelson's father murdered John F. Kennedy? <laughs> Like, I feel like he's just going to start saying all the things. Did you know Sam Paddock's father was wanted by the FBI <laughs> yeah, for most of his life? He goes, and have we ever thought about Stephen Paddock for one second? How weird that is. I mean, it would take about like seven to eight guys to fire off that many rounds in that amount of time. He goes, you know, I've been up to that hotel room. You can't open that window. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, John with the weather, like the Bill Hicks thing. Let me say this. <laughs> was it, so you're saying there was an alien or it was an imposter alien? I think it's an imposter. He goes, I'm saying you're the alien, you ugly, smug bitch. <laughs> he just goes He's off. all sassy. He's all sassy. <laughs> Your shoes, tacky. Your dress, tacky. I believe it's a real alien. Okay. I don't believe that was a real alien at all. So what even is a real alien, though? Buddy. Buddy boy. Planted this alien and no, wanted see the, how she I didn't say that. Didn't say nothing about I didn't that. say that, but see? I think there's potentially. I mean, the lady in the middle is just like, I just hope he's got a Jimmy on him. <laughs> like she's <laughs> no, really she's horny, incredibly horny for, for the some reason about an alien. Uh, this is just me speaking here. Oh, it here sure now. is. <laughs> now, believe me, right? what should be believe no, there. based on the social media accounts, <laughs> it was not just one. It was, I guess, a group of very tall beings. Well, social media is typically right. TikTok so, specifically. Whoa. I mean, TikTok now, has all the facts. My brother was in Miami at the time <laughs> and is agreeing with This is own. off the rails. This is crazy. This is the best news show on earth. I'm going to watch Miami uh, Fox 2 all the time. Yeah, the producer's like tied up in a closet being like... <laughs> <laughs> Keep getting wrapped up. I know. <laughs> because they don't want us to yeah, tell you the truth. Don't. They're saying we have right, to go. L. Fine, go ahead. Damn. No, I, don't, I don't know what's going on over here. They're all like here. insane conspiracy Who knows? Things. Yeah. When the police, no. truth is out there. What though. I do know is Bush knocked down the towers. <laughs> And let's let's talk more about Les Wexner. 
the man that gave Epstein all of his money. <laughs> Does anybody ever look into less weather? This is like my aunt. You're just like tuning in to like see like the fucking weather. The guy's just going off about like <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein's finances and how mysterious that all is. <laughs> You telling me he'd kill himself? Bullshit. <laughs> this is really the most insane daytime. I, I want to. I, I want to like watch yeah. more. Of Fox. Yeah, keep watching. So what what are you gonna that. say well. when there is proof? Because Bashar, who is an alien channel, on <laughs> this guy's name's. Oh no, no, she's talking about TikTok. <laughs> is saying that there will be major con alien contact 2024, okay. early 2025. Right. I'm just here. We go. What happened at the? So they're man. predicting the on? alien contact like it's the weather. Like yeah, yeah. no, early 2020. 24, yeah. 2025, they're gonna take over. Probably start at McDonald's goes, and then work it and out. If you're in Fort Lauderdale area, it's a 20 percent chance of alien invasion. <laughs> the funny thing is, it's just Floridians. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's fucking people in nuts. Florida are so fucked up and weird and well, mangled I, yeah. and odd and just like insane and it's on funny drugs. How that... consistently true that is, and I can't really make sense of why yeah. Florida is that. It's because it's yeah, there's no seasons, right? It's like never cold, really. Yeah. Well, I grew up in New England. And everyone talked about Florida like it was the goal. Like in in Rhode Island, everyone was like, "When I retire, I you know my I remember Christmases where my stepmom would literally say, I should be in Florida right now.' Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "What for what? Yeah, like this is the goal for you, you fucking psycho." Well, I I, I mean, it's so Florida is actually like bizarrely big, right? Mm -hmm. Like there oh, is yeah. a lot of different locations, and so they got the old people place where it's just nothingness, and you mm -hmm. just you just eat at the buffet till shuttleboard. You die. What is that? Shuttleboard. You don't know about... That doesn't matter. Shuffleboard? Shuffleboard, you Oh, mean? yeah, I said it wrong. Sorry. Shuttleboard. I was like, what is that? They all get a, like, drinking. A airplane shuttle or something. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what things are. Well, it's also... I mean, like, okay, now here's another Fox 2 segment about the aliens. These are the same people, but this is the their, this is their uh, thing called The Noon. And so they, this guy looks like he might be one of the aliens. God knows. Who knows what's happening here? This is Fox yeah. 2. My oh, aliens. Oh, right. oh, she's, she's back, back baby. Oh, baby. She's fucking back. God bless this queen. They're like, you're the only reason people watch this goddamn <laughs> yeah. show. Yeah. Get in there. You are gorgeous. Get in there, Pam. They're like, no, no, you understand. We watch this on mute, so just do whatever <laughs> you want. <laughs> They're taking over. It's a They're whole coming year, down. Though. They're I mean, ten just gonna... feet tall, and they are looming large. Is this the first Thomas. time we're sitting together Whoa. this year? Yes. And we're already talking about aliens. What is the background? Like the producers making weird. Yeah. Noise. This is the most unhinged, like <laughs> local news I've, I've really ever seen, seen in my life. Yeah. We are. Do you know why? Why? Miami police are. Clearing up. <laughs> We're like a complete conspiracy <laughs> show, dude. This is, I've not, I didn't even know this was allowed. This is allowed? <laughs> I can't believe this, dude. Oh I my wa God. I want this to be the biggest news show in the country. <laughs> Miami police are clearing it up. We oh all know they're. God. She might as well look into the camera and go, we all know they're fucking liars. <laughs> We live in the most corrupt city in America. <laughs> the InfoWars logo is just going to fly off the because screen right now. You'll see. They're clearing up this conspiracy theory. That's what they're calling Can it. Hell yeah, question? Queen. Wow. She's, okay. really, she's really on board they're for this. They're clearing up a conspiracy theory about a recent invasion. Fuck yeah, Queen. Vito, he hears me, though. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this happened on New Year's Day. Pause it real a quick. Why are his hands so white and his face is so black? Yeah. What Holy the fuck shit, is going on dude. here? That guy's what in the fuck? Is he in blackface? <laughs> that guy's in blackface, dude. What is going on? I didn't even look at that. He's That's an alien. really wild. He's an alien. What the dude, fuck is happening? He's got like Sammy Sosa hands. That's oh fucking insane. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, oh wow. Holy shit. Wow. Dude, he looks like the mask. It's fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> this, is insane. this is the best show I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Fox 2, Miami, baby. He has my hands and fucking Magic Johnson's head. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> he looks like Jimmy Kimmel doing blackface, like Carmel in blackface. <laughs> And they go, and here to commentate is Jimmy Fallon playing Chris Rock. <laughs> I just came straight from the Sarah Silverman program. And it's time to do Fox 2 Miami. He goes, it's interesting you said that. We were actually just shooting Lethal Weapon 5 on the It's Always Sunny set, so it's an honor to be here. Apparently those fucking woke cucks are deleting the episode. <laughs> And back to back to both Uncle Ben's at the same time. 
Oh, fuck. Both Uncle Ben. On video. Now look at this. This was I supposed looking. to be. This was supposed to be for a fight in a mall. Uh huh. Look at all of these police officers that showed up. This video posted online. Eventually, it came out. Maybe it was due uh, to an alien sighting. That's what people in the mall were saying claiming it was due to an alien sighting in the area. But what really happened? Look at all these police cars. That's a lot of police. Look at all these police cars. Which, the whole it, city was shut if down. If it were a fight in the mall, you could understand that, too. Well, later on, police said it was a group of about 50 teenagers that started what they called a riot in the mall, setting fireworks and looting. Mm. The alien in this video was, they said, just a really tall person walking. They she said it was a... They so said, declarative, it's fucking she's insane. She's so confident. Yeah. The alien, they said, was a guy with a black face and white hands. <laughs> 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 who, who has a job here? He goes, oh, that's so funny. You're blowing my cover. <laughs> I can't believe this freak, dude. What is wrong with him? What happened? Does he bleach his arms? That's insane. <laughs> I don't know. I'd feel really bad if he had, like, vitiligo or whatever it is. Yeah, oh, but no. I have vitiligo, and it would be more spotted, I would think. Yeah, yeah I, I would think, think it, so, You kind of look yeah. like a Dalmatian. Yeah. You, end up, you look like Kyle Kuzma's girlfriend if you have vitiligo. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, about, right? Of course, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't forget her name. The Victoria's Secret. The hundred and second yeah, yeah, Dalmatian. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just say I a few saw, things. Oh. I saw this online yes. and I and I saw the video yeah. and I couldn't tell There's what a it white was guy behind that <laughs> chair controlling his arms. <laughs> 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 it's like a fucking Eric Andre set. He's just like, <laughs> Yeah, I saw an alien. Oh, now I'm eating a, a, a burger. Oh. <laughs> Now I'm driving a car. <laughs> it's like Bruce Almighty. <laughs> oh, shit. And she is like, this woman thinks she's about to, like, she's going to be the biggest, like, she newscaster she's of all time. cracking it all open. Like, I'm cracking the code. Like, like I, it's just through sheer confidence. I'm yeah. telling There's everyone no how it is. There's no integrity happening with her whatsoever. No, this is, which is fucking crazy. insane. I mean, dude. it's the Miami news. What it's does awesome. journalistic integrity mean to them? Zero. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. They're probably all riddled with syphilis and all sorts of <laughs> horrific sexually transmitted diseases. They're getting AIDS tests. And I was thinking, that's weird. Yeah. Back to you. And she well, goes, you know what I think's weird? Why you have white hands and a black face. <laughs> what the fuck is up with you, Lionel? Now, where were you this night, actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if there were 50 teens... Looting and setting off fireworks in the mall. Where's the video of that? Ooh. Where's the video of that? Hell yeah, Ooh. Queen. Mm. Mm. Let's Hell yeah, go. Queen. Video online. If I'm wrong, at me. I, I'll stand up. Hell yeah. Oh at me. God. There is not one video. I had no, of dude, I didn't know like Miami like news was very reality TV based. It yeah. is very They're very much like, get at me, bitch. No, this, like, is, this is Bad Girls Club. They go, it's fucking if it, nuts. If it doesn't, the news guy Catch like, me outside, yeah, man. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, catch me outside, <laughs> Like, yeah. like they're, 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 I, they're so aggressive and and in your face. Yeah. It's yeah. wild. This is sure Bad Girls Club. She's like, there is an alien. I'm ripping that bitch's weave out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Like, fuck that bitch. 50 teenagers. Every time they get wild in Chicago, you see it on the news. Oh, Every time yeah. hell they yeah, get dude. wild in San Francisco or San Diego or wherever, in one of those sand cities in California, uh -huh. saying that they're smashing and grabbing everything. They there, I don't think San Diego, that's, no. I don't see, there's, I don't hear about teens doing smash and grabs no, in San no, Diego. No, 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 no. A bunch of guys named Skyler. This is Dude, basically just... the Dub Predator sketch that you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah my Dub Predator sketch. Let's do a smash and grab for some fucking flip flops tonight, dude. Let's we're gonna fucking steal some fish tacos, <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna break into Volcom tonight. Wahoo's fish tacos goes to the fucking ground, dude. <laughs> dude, tonight Bill a bong, more like Bill a gone. <laughs> it's over for them. <laughs> See, right. there's video all over the place. Where is the video of people setting off fireworks in the mall? And it's a mall. They it's have mall, mall surveillance video. Where is the video? Oh my God. Just show me one. Just one. Just show me one video. Just but they one. can't do it. And you Wait, know you why? mean to tell me this black man with white hands is willing to go along with whatever the fuck she <laughs> said? <laughs> it's a black man with white hands. Dude, the guy is an alien. That's an alien. 
Oh my! Look at his big alien head and his white hair. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's insane. We what might is have going uncovered on? the best. Does anyone know time. about this? I no, I don't think they do. Oh. This is absolutely. It's crazy. like almost wonder. Yeah, you wonder what what this man. Wow, what, where he's from? What is? Also, what why is he? was he brought in? What's his? What's his whole thing? He has why? added nothing. He's just no, letting. He's, yeah, he's not an expert. He's not an yeah. expert on anything. He's just and then she's just going off. She's taking over. Yeah. She's the show. I mean, she's clearly the show. She's the show. Oh yeah. I feel like this is, like, directed by Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, this is nuts. She does kind of look like Jackie Brown. Yeah, this is Jackie Brown 2. Jackie Brown 2. Yeah. Fox 2. <laughs> Jackie Brown 2, Miami. <laughs> <laughs> 2 Jackie 2 Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie Foxy Brown 2. <laughs> happen. What did happen? Ten foot beings. People uh, say here people we go. in the mall. Now here is what's interesting. There are a lot of people who are on TikTok. He goes, oh, I here we go. And he stands mall. up behind her and he snaps saw- her neck. <laughs> <laughs> All the chaos after. Maybe they're saying, I didn't see the aliens. I was on a different side. I was in H&M. Maybe the aliens were at Forever 21. I don't know what they were shopping Ooh, for. And she's got jokes. Mm-hmm. She goes, and I got jokes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm is good kind stuff. of like slowly falling. This is amazing. Oh, I think she's it. so beautiful. You fully beautiful. get yeah. why she has the job. She's so attractive. She's so yeah. Hot. yeah. Of all the people running in the because mall. you know her boyfriend goes like, all right, relax though today at work. Like I saw it yesterday. He's like an orthodontist. He has her on, like yeah. you know, while he like you know puts rubber bands on a kid. <laughs> Just ruin like, someone's mouth. Yeah, he's like, ruined. Oh, she's yeah. at it again. Oh shit! <laughs> and he's like, God, she's going off. <laughs> She's going off about fucking, you know, the tunnel Jews on Fox 2 Miami. <laughs> he's like texting. He's like, LaQuisha, please. She's like a black Israelite. Uh, What'd you say, John? LaQuisha. She's texting her, yeah. LaQuisha? Why is her name? She really? looks like I bet her name is Diane, you yeah. son of a bitch. She looks more like that's a That's where I draw the like fucking line. Yeah, that's dude. absurd. She looks like a, John. you know. Cherokee. All the Nazi stuff, I think, is correct. But that, when it's just out of line. Sorry, guys. That's the one black one. LaQuisha. <laughs> if your New Year's resolution was to stop eating sad boy meals, listen up. Factor has you covered with ready-to-eat meal delivery that sends chef-prepared, dietitian approved meals straight to your door. All you have to do is heat them up, microwave or skillet for two minutes, and dinner is served. I've had Factor many times. Frank has had Factor many times. I, 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 you order it, it comes. You microwave it. Two minutes. It's healthy. It's easy. It's quick. It's a beautiful package. You don't have to think about any more bullshit because Factor's got you covered. In addition to ready-to-eat meals, they've also got cold-pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, extra protein, veggies, sides, and more. Whatever you need out of your nutrition routine, Factor has you covered. Head to factormeal.com slash hatewatch50 and use code hatewatch50 to get 50% off. That's code hatewatch50, hatewatch50, at factormeals.com slash hatewatch50 to get 50% off. Support the show and get 50% off of Factor at factormeals.com slash hatewatch50. Use code hatewatch50. We're going to put him in the oven and roast him tonight. Wait, Frank. Ah! That sucks. You suck. That sucks ass, dude. You suck so bad, dude. Let's get back to talking about Nazis, dude. That was like a that was like a scene from like bringing down the house. It would I'm be incredible out. if she was like, anyway, I've been LaQuisha at the <laughs> news. So we're like, John, we cry. I put a crown on his head. It we, is Miami. It is Miami. Him. It is Miami. Hava, Maggie the Hava, Maggie the Hava. Oh fuck. <laughs> People are trying to get out because, you know, once you see people running, yeah. you're supposed to run, too. Their videos are gone. Oh, my God, dude. Everybody. What? They're All playing sound what effects. Fuck? That the run Scooby-Doo? was fucking nuts, They're playing dude. sound effects. The Scooby-Doo run. Run it back. That was insane. Everybody on but, TikTok bit more, who was in bit the more. mall is saying, I was taking video. I didn't. <laughs> on TikTok A little bit further. Who was in the mall is running. Yeah. You're supposed to run, too. Their videos are gone. <laughs> <laughs> On TikTok, who was in the mall is saying I was Dude, is vid- the producer of this show the WB Frog? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and now back to Samuel L. Andrew Jackson. <laughs> Hey, 
Samuel L. Andrew Ooh, Jackson. Samuel L. Andrew Jackson. That might be the name of the app. That's great. <laughs> oh my God! God bless Fox Local News. They're on a they're on a thirty second delay, right? So some guy in that thirty seconds when she said "run," the guy was like, "Bring up the Scooby Doo soundtrack." Yeah, let's get it going. That's yeah. unbelievable. That's insane. That, wow. Yo, I didn't know what was happening. The videos are not on my phone. So what do you say? I'm saying, what if they were remotely white, allegedly? Now listen. By the aliens. I don't. I don't want to say too oh, much. Oh, dude, she's going crazy. Oh, we're past that. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want to show up missing, as they say. Right. No, I think no, all the blood just back. left right. his yeah, hands because he has, like, yeah. insane okay, so adrenaline right, right now. On the door. Oh, my God. I feel like she's me. about to go from this to just some personal thing about her boyfriend. Like, And listen, and I saw the text messages, Craig. <laughs> 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 You've been cheating on me, Craig. Yeah. Wait, wait. He might be wearing gloves. Look at his wrist. Look, it's black again. He's not. Look at that. What on earth? He's not wearing gloves. No, but what this? the fuck is up with his wrist? He's an alien, man. You can see his No, fingers. do you see what I'm calling? No, I do. It oh, does it's look- a shirt. It's a shirt. Okay. Yeah, he's wearing a brown undershirt, Wait, I no, think. No, it's a great. He's wearing a white shirt. <clears throat> what the fuck is that? You know what? God knows. We have to look into this man. What he, is his yeah. name? He might have had like a hand transplant. I don't fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. A hand, a hand transplant? A hand okay, transplant. Fox 2. <laughs> I'm looking at Fox 2 anchors. We're figuring this out. <laughs> Oh, fucking bizarre. Zoom so, in again, because you can see his fingernails. <laughs> I just gloves. see. I see no reason why, like, yeah, no, that's the that's nail. His hand. No, it's it's those are like Nosferatu's hands. Oh my god, that's so. Creepy. We've uncovered the weirdest thing of all time. <laughs> just, but those don't look like gloves because he's got yeah. fingernails and shit, yeah. and like you can see the bones of he his knuckles like veins and veins. And yeah. What and why does she not ever? Does she? Is there episodes where she? Like, is there a segment where she goes, what the fuck is with your hair? <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, she starts calling him a Bugs wait, Bunny. Should we, should we skip to the end just to see? No, like, no, just play it all the way through. Yeah, right. oh, I'm so is, invested. This yeah. is a beauty. All right. yeah. God, sometimes God blesses you. Or are you going to say, oh, she's, oh, her I'm office gonna, is next door? It's around the corner, two doors down. I'm just going to... But I will try and send <laughs> the wrong direction for it. Small okay. as well. Wait, by the way, is, okay. is it? It gets it's it's 35 degrees in Miami. Sometimes it gets that cold. I, I could see. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's on the coast. I don't yeah. know. When yeah. aliens hit ground, right? Yeah. Right. He has vitiligo or a frostbite. Or, no, he has it. He has it, dude. He does. He covers yeah, it's it up. So specific. It's like, yeah. I don't like to hear that. Yeah, I, like, I, 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 I like edit that out. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you kind of ruined the whole thing. But the video, he's painting his face in this. Yeah, he's, he's painting up his face. face black. Yeah, but, bro. He's yeah. Oh my god. He's literally painting yeah. his face black. He's he. It's this is like black like me. This is like that book I was forced bro. to read in school. He's, yeah, he's, doing he's literally face. a black guy doing blackface. He's That's the, fucking <laughs> insane. He's a black guy doing blackface. Oh my. god. God. This is Brother Ali. But also, why not just take it to the fucking hands then? I know. Yeah. You can't go the full mile. You can't make your hands black. What are you doing? You can do black hands. You did black face. I think because I think he, uh, he slowly is realizing the perks of being white. And so he's yeah. like, I do want people to see yeah. these white hands. He goes, he goes I, I've heard if you get vitiligo hard enough, you can rape children. So uh, he, he goes, gonna... when I hand my ID to the cops, they think differently. If. <laughs> If they don't look right at me, they go, oh, yeah, of course, sir. There has been a part of me, like, having vitiligo. I'm like, if this, like, turned white people black the way it turns black people white, it would complicate my situation immensely. <laughs> what do you if, mean? Like, if, if, if white people got vitiligo and we turned black? Yeah, because I'm just getting whiter. But, like, you know, if I was just, like, if I just was, like, quasi-black. People would think you're insane. I don't like, know what the fuck. doing it on purpose. Would, yeah, yeah, or something. It would be some level of uh, an insane move in any respect. Yeah, I have no idea. that is interesting to do the reverse. Or it could go wet, like, all of a sudden, you just, you can start saying the N-word on stage, and, like, punchlines have, like, more umph to them and shit, and you just, like, take off, and everyone just thinks you're black. Dude. Yeah, that, <laughs> I'm just Gary Owen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Gerwin's like, I fucking wish that yeah. was the case, dude. Cat Holy Williams shit. is like, young brother, that was one of the greatest sets I've ever seen. I would love to bring you on tour. <laughs> Damn, that's good. <laughs> that's a good cat. Thank you. My guy's got a good cat. Uh, oh, fuck, he goes, I can dude. tell you run a 4-2, just like me. And you read 4,000 books before noon. <laughs> If it was an alien walking down the street, where's the video of that? It's Thank you, you. Uh, Al Johnson for the. For the We're all on to you. What's his name? 
Lee, I think. Lee? Last name Lee, that's all I caught right <laughs> this here. Is just Lee. Okay. People who are saying- It's Robert E. Lee. He's, he kept living. Really? Yeah, quite yeah. literally. That's, uh, I'm just- Lee This Thomas. is the best thing we've ever maybe like, yeah. like seen. We watched a lot of crazy videos. But we had no expectation. I was just watching some random Miami video yeah, for, the, really for the alien shit. Turns out gold. the the newscasters are the ones, they're the reason the cops showed up. Oh. Mm. Unbelievable. This is beautiful. I'm really so loving videos, her though. Yeah, videos she's, she's great. No I'm, I, God bless her. Phones. The videos are no longer on their phones. Say it is an alien. Say you know right is. after this, she flew oh, straight. She, whoa, she, whoa, whoa. she flew straight to the NBA All-Star game. She was popping holes in condoms. <laughs> 100%. She was just poking 100%. holes in condoms all over town and just trying to fucking bang Joel Embiid and like just be like, I'm out of this Fox 2 Miami news bullshit. I just want some bucking money. I want an alien of somebody, my own. Yeah. Somebody, give, somebody give me yeah. a little alien baby and I want child support. Yeah. She seems... I love her. I uh, yeah, but she's insane. She's, she's for way, sure the rating. She's being way too like, mm -hmm, like, mm. like on your at your job, right, right next to your weird freaky. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you I say? think you're allowed it to is, say that because I have vitiligo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we have like I have a black friend in the studio. You with are us. black. Yes, <laughs> I'm black. Yeah. It is crazy that he does like do that makeup. <laughs> Thank you for bringing it up. <laughs> well, yeah. no, that I'm black. But oh, like, well, it's crazy he does the makeup because, I mean, he wouldn't be as far in his career if he didn't do that, which is fucked up. But it's crazy that they keep making him do that. Oh, no, right. Yeah. That's nuts. No, if he was, like, every night doing the news looking like a sheepdog, uh, yeah, yeah. The people would have some, the people would just be like, this is, like, not Like, do you remember when the at. Joker painted himself to look like he didn't have scars and shit? Yeah. <laughs> Dark My Knight. favorite scene in The Dark Knight is when he <laughs> takes his mask off in front of Harvey Dent, and then Harvey Dent goes, oh, now you're the Joker. That's <laughs> <laughs> like, and that's the the dude has a white face with yeah. red coming out of the mask. Like, anyway, fuck Christopher Nolan. Oppenheimer was overrated. You people are retards. Or two. Or three. Before. Maybe oh, more. John. Mm -hmm. Ten foot tall. You got the alien show. <laughs> Why would this they go gold, John? I know, I'll be right back. I don't know. That's a Need good some one. There's, 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 there's some sneakers. There's some Jordans. There's some Jordans. You know those New Year's sales. <laughs> I know. It gets Miami everybody. is popping at New Year. I don't know, but I don't know why they were at the mall. Now, <laughs> this one... There is one more conspiracy. The Who's behind the, the camera, reason. dude? Is this show run by DJ Vlad? <laughs> <laughs> it's Brian Redman behind the booth. Dude, when people used and to I, bomb in like open mic scenarios, I would sit in the back of the room and I would just go, like, there'd be dead silence and I would just go, <laughs> <laughs> and just, dude, and they would get a laugh, but like, that's exactly what that fucking laugh yeah. is. It's like, this is fucking trolling it, it, or someone yeah. who is completely insane. I mean, a completely we're, insane we're person. the same exact thing. Oh, yeah. We millions used, of we times. We used to yeah. fake laugh all the time. Dude, Brutal. it's the best because yeah. that wheezing, the idea that someone told a lame joke and then there's just someone who is fucking losing their mind laughing yeah, is yeah. my favorite thing. I used thing. to be a real prick sometimes. Sometimes, oh, yeah. sometimes I would just be so fed up and I'd be in the back room and I'd go, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> like, oh, it ends. When the laugh ends immediately. That's you, a comic laugh in my mind. Like, yeah. yeah. dude, when, and not ironically or being mean, like that's them trying to be supportive. Like they're so vapid a lot of times. Like, ha, ha, ha. and yeah. it's like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck are we even talking about? I mean, nothing really matches me and Ben Avery at our mic. That was brutal. The cricket drop for that guy that one time. Oh, oh my god. god! I've told you the story, right? Where like there was this open micer <laughs> who was telling a story about his dad who had just died, and he was bombing so hard, and me and Ben were fucking hammer drunk. Five p.m. Mike. We'll go to the drawing room before our mic mm -hmm. at 3 p.m. Happy hour. Just slam tequila sodas. Walk to my mic. I'd host it. Heavy pours. To Heavy place. pours. Really like an entire pint class of tequila. Yeah. And uh, this guy was on stage and wasn't going well, but it was so vulnerable, so sad. And uh, he was bombing. And I look at Ben and I was like, play the play the cricket drop. <laughs> play the cricket. And we thought it would kill... And Ben's like, I can't do it. I'm so bad. I can't do it. And I was like, you got to do it. Hit the cricket. Everyone was so mad at us immediately. Yeah, I, know, I remember that. Could you imagine being him, though? Like, I've, I've thought about this so much. I'm just like, you're on stage talking to your dead dad, and the open mic host play a cricket sound bite. Yeah. That's really rough. That was like the initial how he, kill tone. How did he not fight us? I don't know. I, I think if you're going to talk about your dead relative on stage before the sun is down... 
you got to come into you a little bit. That's, that's true. A little you know bit. what I mean? Yeah, you got to yeah, wait yeah. till nighttime. You're workshopping a fucking like eulogy. Yeah. At an open mic. And uh, you know, a little late. Mm-hmm. For a eulogy. And also, it's like it's it's kind of it's it's in the it's a little late. <laughs> he is dead. Yeah, been dead. <laughs> no, as so I've tried to work out material about dead family, and it's just it's I don't even I don't even know why we would even try to do that. Mm-hmm. It's just like, yeah, some things just got to be private conversation. Unless you land on a joke in private. But to go out, I've seen guys go out and just be like, my dad's dead. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck do you yeah. want us to do and about now, it? And what, now, like, there's no joke. joke. So yeah. it's like, you can't come out with no fucking joke. No. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, it's uh, it's that whole thing that like those one man show comedy things that started taking off. Like, but it, you're writing on stage about the worst thing that ever happened. It's like no man, like think it through before you come out and like you know just make it our fault. The seven people who are here, mm-hmm. it's just a wild impulse. Yeah. yeah, you know who doesn't think it through? Our lovely lady here. Mm-hmm. Our lovely lady. Here. Nice too. segue. What is her name? Nice John? segue. John, well, you, I don't know her name. Did you I get just her know name? Guy's name Lily Thomas. Lily. No, that's the... Oh, I think her name's like Monique or some shit. Michelle or something. She actually has a really It mobile. fucking better be Monique or else you are, you are the most racist. <laughs> yeah, you said Rashida. <laughs> what up? Like, what La- La- Laquisha, he said, and now he's saying Monique. And it's like... John goes, goes, oh, goes, oh, oh my uh, bad. Her uh, name is actually Precious. I fucked up, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's her name? Um, uh, her, her name's name, Mammy. Her name's Miss Pat. No, it's not. No, I'm fucking okay. with you, dude. Mammy. <laughs> you were looking at your phone. I thought that was real for a second. I know. about it. Let's see. Hold on a second. No, what? Fucking... Play it while he finds it. Yeah. We'll say conspiracy on this one because I didn't I didn't necessarily We're welcome to stop here if you want before we go into the one more. Well, it's just a random interesting Mario and I'll just leave it there. Mario Mario. Look All at right. that queen. She's awesome. God. OK. Yeah. And she changed her hair is different in that picture. She's great hair now. The coordinates yeah. to the mall coordinate coordinates okay. to the mall. If you put them in reverse, she goes, you know, Larry Silverstein had a bunch of stock that he took out right before the World Trade Centers were hit. <laughs> Dude, she's about to say something insane. Can you reverse it a little bit? She's getting into coordinates. She's doing, well, she's doing the, when black women are about to like really drop a bomb, they start doing seminar hands. I don't this, know if you guys have noticed this. Black oh, women yeah, love to go like, here's the thing. Yeah. Let me tell y'all what's really going on. And they do this thing like they're giving a, like they're like giving a business. And she's about to business. fucking tell us what's she's, really going they, on. They, about to tell they us moved her to on. Detroit. She's no longer. Oh my god, she's being eaten alive by stray dogs right now. (laughs) She fucking this poor lady. She was too real for Miami. She's now in Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, she's an Emmy Award winner. She really? fucking better be. No. Yeah, now she, she's in Detroit. She's she goes, selling so much. Right she's in now. Detroit. She's on the news. She goes, you know how many abandoned buildings we have in Detroit? You know how many, how many, how many black, how many black children are raped in abandoned buildings in Detroit? You know how many aliens you yeah. could fit in those abandoned <laughs> <Yeah>. buildings? <laughs> <laughs> she's at the shelter doing a rap battle. I gotta hear this. Coordinates though. Okay. to the mall. If you put them in reverse. Oh fuck. Take you to Antarctica. Oh my <gasps> god! What? I don't know what that means. No! <laughs> Maybe they mixed up the coordinates. No fucking way. And they popped up in Miami instead. You Who know, puts coordinates yes, in reverse? Why would it smell it smells eel? Why would the aliens use coordinates? Exactly. Because y'all ever heard of Havana syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> Boom, boom. It Come does on, smell eel. I'm gonna say it again. You know, if you put my name backwards, it smells eel. Well, what about this? This fucking guy. It's Thank like you. a oh. Wayne Brady character. It's or really something. horrifying. It's, I can't believe he's a real man. Yeah. Thank you very much. If you flip my name backwards, oh, good luck. When you call me L, huh? It's still, still L. L. Oh, I like that. Oh. I like that. I like that. Al didn't like that as much. Nothing. Mito didn't I, like it as I, much. I should have got a little something Audio on that. didn't like it as much. Okay. Thank you. Guys. They're literally playing like Wiley Coyote noises and yeah. shit. Unbelievable. God I'm bless. Just, I'm just happy DJ Doug Pound got a job. You know, Dude. that's good for him. God bless Fox 2 Miami. That was incredible. Yeah, Holy that was wild. shit. <laughs> we might have time for like one more quick one. I'm gonna. Oh, there. This is Fox 2 Detroit. Oh, that's Detroit. No, oh. but there's water there. Let's keep. Does it Detroit have water? There, Whatever. It's Miami. Detroit is underwater. <laughs> is I want more of 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 what's her face? Marielle or whatever. Marielle. Jesus Christ! Nah, I don't see many videos. I don't know how to do. I don't know. What to so do. that was her. She's still bringing it though. She's still bringing she, the. God heat bless her. You know Detroit. what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Yeah. She's like, you can move me anywhere I want. My fucking mission stays the same. Dude, she's doing rap, ba- rap battles in 8 Mile. You know, she's fucking mm. fully... She's killing it. She's fully. What is going on, Fox? Let's see what's like. Okay, this is Fox Two News live at eleven, January seventeenth. And I don't know. This guy looks like he's wacky too. I'm Robin Murdoch on the the city's west side, where these bone chilling temperatures is making everything just a little more difficult today. How they're turning our anchors' hands white. (laughs) The answer in my life report. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Robin. It has been days since Metro Detroit was hit by that winter storm. Cold but some Detroit. roads continue to be in That's but for first oh, responders this bitch as well. That was her. Icy conditions Fucking causing major challenges for firefighters Just this like morning. Leia. And Fox 2's Robin Murdoch. Do they ever bring our queen Robin, back good on? Morning, good morning. No, she's too real for now, daytime. Yeah, they don't they don't leave her on during the day. It's like yeah. nighttime shit. She's out, she's out fighting aliens like men in black. God bless her, though. It's just a bunch of fucking Detroit Lions shit. God bless the Lions. Hope they win. <clears throat> um. Yeah. All right. Well. Damn. That kicked ass. That was crazy. Yeah. That was fun. It's kind of crazy. We. I think we were wrong the whole time. They don't work in Miami. They yeah. I showing, think. Uh, yeah. They were just showing the Miami yeah. footage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you knew that the I, whole time. No. I mean, I feel like that has to be. I don't know. Actually, I like the idea. Well, all all the more to the point of the uselessness of local news. Mm-hmm. Like if that's local Detroit news, and they're like Miami, though, and it's like no one gives. No a one fuck. cares. It could be anywhere. Can. It goes. It goes to show though that that's maybe the best television there is left now is the local news because they're just tell they say whatever they want because they know no one's really watching. But like old people, yeah, I guess the old reason- people who are trapped in their house and are too afraid to leave because this, yeah. you know, there's an alien in Miami, so I can't go to my Detroit local shop so you just you get to go off on the news and you get to be like a weird like half black half white creation guy (laughs) because like the only people that are watching you are coming out of a coma like in the hospital like it's just the new it's just the the tv that's already on when you're admitted into the hospital dude my heart oh go ahead no i think the only reason i would say that like i was like yeah is like i think if that was actual local miami news it would be like negligence in some way right right but they were they were they were hate watching it they were. Mm-hmm. They were doing what we did. They were fully podcasting. They were like said that shitting earlier on. I'm all like, over. They were, yeah. 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 Crazy. We got a little Muriel down there. Oh, Muriel checks in with the nine. Hell yeah. She'll be on the seat with us. Oh my God, her hair is insane. Pretty busy day. Do you have craft services out? <laughs> it's not Food? that insane. It's so there big. There is a nice She's in Atlanta now. situation. Okay. I... I mean, what I is she? Know. Is she wearing from a river to the sea shirt? What is that? <laughs> Something to the sea. She might be a time traveler. I. This woman is. She the, transports. She's the strongest lady on earth. Yeah. God bless. Hiding his hands. Moriel. I love Moriel. How many chews I got in? I, you know, pretty hungry, and, and I love free food, as we know. So uh, I have uh, a can of Coke back there, Thanks, yeah. and uh, all the chocolate and snacks you can imagine. I did want to say before we go. Um, things are going to be a little, a, a little different when I come back. Uh oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Are you Uh-oh. listening? Are you talking to Lee or uh, who are you talking <laughs> no, to? Wait, wait. All y'all. All right. All go ahead. Oh my so God. I just, I just wrote down a few things just to be ready. Got um, it. Are we out of time? No are we out of time? I think we're oh, running we're we're out of time. We're in trouble. No I think we're in trouble. Oh, they kid. In the eye. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's the first thing. What you said? She said no one's to look me directly in the eyes. Oh wow. She kicks ass. Damn. Nice. This yeah, bitch she, rules. She's a she's, she's cool. like Barbara Streisand. Yeah. Or Bob Dylan. Uh, or Bob Dylan. He doesn't want that either, right? Thing. Yeah. Well, Miles Davis too. He would like do concerts uh, with his back to the crowd. Yeah, my buddy uh, had a friend who was a roadie for Bob Dylan, and no one was to talk to Bob Dylan while they were on the tour. God and damn. at the last stop, he was like, "Hey, Bob." As Bob's walking to his hotel, he's like, "Hey, Bob, I just need to stop you and just tell you how much your music has meant to me over the years. Like you've changed the course of my life with your poetry." nature or whatever and then bob dylan just looked up from his hat and he was like eat shit <laughs> are you serious <laughs> and then he just kept going these people just give the stories like why why are oh, they all so evil man, that's crazy it's man. wild bob dylan plays concerts where he like doesn't even remember half his lyrics and he's just wailing he's just like Ehh! he's just like he's just humming and shit it, yeah. yeah for through whole songs yeah. well, see, see bob dylan now would be like a Waste of money. Oh, yeah. if it's oh. No, you can see Bob Dylan at every local bar in the <laughs> shittiest neighborhood you've ever been to. <laughs> it's crazy how, uh, yeah, I hear infamous uh, stories about him being an infamous prick. Yeah. But he's like amazing. But he was also on fucking uh, Pawn Stars that one time. What? Was he? Yeah. Like Chumley got to like interview Bob Dylan. <laughs> 
Oh my god, yeah. that's crazy. And he was doing like Victoria's Secret commercials too. What do you like, think she's that. about to like like the next Im- role? Yeah, what is she about to imbue? She's about she's to been sassy. She's just being sassy. Play it. Let it play. play it. For like a second. <laughs> Lee Thomas, you are responsible for my hot toasted almonds I would like on my desk, please, yeah, so every no, morning. No problem. They'll be right there. Mm. Uh, Dina, your mother is going to have to make me cranberry sauce quarterly now, <laughs> not, just, not just for Thanksgiving. Right. And Derek is my right-hand man, so he can now only stand on my right side. That's oh, it. Very good. Uh, oh, my. Oh, by the way, uh, my cousin Griff, who does the radio. We had him on the show a few times. Remember him? Yeah. He's all decked out in his Michigan gear. He's actually doing the show a few floors down. I'm on the 34th floor, Ryan. 34th floor. Did you take the stairs? Wow. I didn't take that elevator. I know. I couldn't take the stairs. I had to do it. But my cousin Griff is here. Uh, he's got They really just give her the show. I mean, we get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's... she kicks I think it got to her head, honestly. God bless Mario. Yeah, I mean, the alien stuff. They were just like, wow, all right. We got to give her the whole show now. Yeah, they let her run. That was eight days ago. It happens to everybody. She's going off. Seems everybody they give the mic to for too long just end up being a fucking psychopath. She's just she's just on the local news, just being like, we all know Nancy Reagan was spreading crack throughout the ghetto. (laughs) But I still want her to deliver me Cracker Jacks. Damn. Oh man, that was fun. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. I guess we'll wrap it up here. Uh, Ryan, what's your uh, social? Oh, at Ryan this? Donahuman. Nice. Yeah, that's my thing on Instagram. That's mostly where I I'm gonna start posting more stand up clips. Post apparently. clips on your Instagram. Yeah, apparently that's how that's to do what it. Everyone has to do. Yeah. You yeah. know. Oh yeah. Or you could you could start doing a little wacky. You could do like a wacky thing where you like tell a joke like in a thing. Like you do like you you tell a you tell like one joke while doing something like wacky, and then that becomes a thing. Yeah, or I could just be on the local news of or this you terrible can place. Try and get on Fox Two Detroit. Yeah, yeah she's just trying to clip up material. You clearly point. have no like prerequisite for any sort of knowledge inside of anything at this point in the news, which is oh no. It really, it's a reason to watch your guys' fantastic podcast, if I'm oh, being honest. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. If yeah, you want to stay truly informed, watch Hate Watch. We like to inform the people here. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Connor, anything to say? Any stuff coming up? My show, North Hollywood, MKM, Cultural Arts Center, February 17th. Buy tickets. Fun time. Hell yeah. John, um, any uh, dates? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be at work <laughs> Where tomorrow. Where are you at work? <laughs> <laughs> How's everything going? You, you're, know, you're not really sure what's going to nah. happen. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right, folks. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Love Bye-bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.